is Hope at Crafty Hope, and I am working at another art journal. This one is my Bobsy Twins book, and um, I opened it to a page where I had swiped some gesso on one side, and I decided to go ahead and swipe some gesso on the other side, and just make it a little more co consistent. Whew, y'all, sorry, I'm recording this early in the morning. I, um, I did this page yesterday um, as part of the 100 Day po Project. It was day nine, and for me that meant I was going to use um, tape or washi of some kind, and in this case it was going to be the Tim Holtz Design Tape. So, and that had some ups and downs and things went sideways and I'm calling this Hope is Never Lost because I really did think Hope was lost on this page and I turned it around just a little while ago and I am so excited. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and share this process with you. Um, I never know if I'm going to share my art journal pages with y'all. I kind of just record whatever I do. Well, most of the time there's one I did the other day that was amazing and I didn't record it and I'm regretting that um, completely but anyway I decided to go ahead and pop on the camera with this one and show you how it goes and it, it definitely was a wild ride it had some ups and downs so as I am like to do um, I started after I got that gesso down before it was even dry I started collaging and I had a couple little bitty scraps little tiny scraps on my desk and I glued those down but then I realized I needed some larger things and I had moved a lot of that off my desk so I ran across the room and grabbed all of that and some of this is just overspray and some Lindy sprays and stuff because one of my days I was spraying Lindy's and so I had a couple little scraps that had some um some far sun fun sparkle sprays on it so um I just glued all of that down with my uhu glue stick you see I'm thinking about it and trying to decide what else it needs and there's no consistency no pattern um and if you I didn't add any paint to this page at all, y'all. There's, there's a couple little mediums I add, um, like this is a Stabilo Woody, just a black one that I'm adding just some dashes on the page. And I add um, a stamp to it, but that's about it. So here I'm just, I wanted a little bit more movement since there were so many sharp edges with the collaging that I just take the pencil and I'm just, you know, adding some curves, basically, and a little scribbling. Now here's where the Tim Holtz design tape comes in and um, I have three tubes of it that um, I also have some tissue tape and some of his other stuff but this was the design to these tubes of design tape is what I wanted to use because I'm I find it far too precious and I tend to not use it because I love it but I have to admit that almost all of it I bought either with a coupon or on clearance or some manner like that some reduced price Thing. So I decided for each of these three tubes I wanted to use at least two rolls, not the whole rolls, but pick out two patterns on there and use those. So that's kind of what I did. Um, I kind of was looking at what colors I had on the page and what kind of would go with those colors because I didn't want anything that was going to be too stark, but all of them are fairly, I don't know, dull colors you know there's that little bit of red on that one but some of them have a lot more red on it so I, I didn't go with those I think this one I'm using here has some blue tones in it and since I knew I had some blue on um on bits and pieces of the page I was like okay well that'll work so and I'm just going through it some of them I'm tearing like the larger ones tearing down into um smaller pieces um you'll see over there on the right bottom I kind of did like a striped pattern which is not something I've ever done but I thought um let me play with that and see how I like it and I totally did it and it's okay um I may or may not do that again we'll see now my problem comes with this design tape um I get a little frustrated because I realize that it has it's not like other some other washies because the surface of it is kind of slick it doesn't seem to take a lot of other mediums on top of it 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 acts as a resist to some extent so and I never really thought about it um but it ends up working out. Um, this is, like I said, this is called Hope is Never Lost because I kind of lose a little bit of hope with this one. So here's where I look at the page and realize that the that design tape is really popping out quite a bit. So I take a little more of the washi and I water it down. And I'm just going to try pushing some of that design tape back. I've got a um, 
I realize here in a second that I didn't have a water um, cup there, so um, I just had to, yeah. Anyway, so I'm just spreading that little bit of water down washi over top of, not washi, water down gesso on top of the design tape. Man, um, y'all, it's still morning here and I'm just anxious to get this going. So as you see, I'm spreading it and with my finger on most of them, I was kind of blurring it out, but there in that center one, I just kept adding to it. Um, I did blur that out a, a little bit, I guess. But I'm just, I keep going back over it thinking, okay, if I keep adding more, maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so that's what I do. I just keep adding more and more of this watered down gesso and it goes and it goes and it goes. And, and there is where, sorry, I mean to shout at you. Um, there is where I ended up not blurring it out and I just kind of left it and I was like, well, all right, let me think about this. Well, I had gotten this, I love my Distress Oxides. I got this Distress Oxide in the mail the other day. It's Rusty Hinge. It's one of my favorite, you know, I love anything rusty. Rusty, grungy, yumminess. So I was like, I have to order that Distress Oxide. I didn't know it existed. I hadn't seen it, so I ordered it. So I decided I'm going to play with it. So I take one of my hand carved stamps. This one is one of my favorites. I use it all the time. It's kind of a, a teardrop shape, but then it's got like layers within it. So, um, yeah, I love this one for some, I don't know, some reason. So I'm taking my Rusty Hinge Distress Oxide, and there I go a little crazy. I don't know what I was doing. I just, I, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Once I start stamping out, I can't. <laughs> I can't stop so and I knew I kind of wanted to play with the water soluble nature of the distress oxide so I grabbed my um I start by grabbing my wet paintbrush and I was gonna just blend it out because I think that's kind of a cool effect but I thought oh no wait let me try spraying it so um I took me a second to find my sprayer it had fallen um and my battery died and so when I came back for some reason the camera was all zoomed in um I didn't realize it sorry about that but I'm just taking my um little sprayer and spraying a little bit of water and letting that drip. Now that also drips into some of that Stabilo All, I mean Stabilo All, Woody, the Stabilo Woody. And that's kind of cool because it blurs and, and smears a little. And then I decided to pick it up a little bit with the, um, with just a piece of paper. And that was gorgeous. Um, and then I tried to pick out a phrase and y'all, I don't know how many different pieces of paper I went through and I finally just grabbed these stickers. Um, I believe they're also Tim Holtz. Um, but then here's where I realized I was struggling. Um, I was getting real frustrated. I was hoping that art journaling was gonna make me feel better, but it was one of those days that everything just seemed to frustrate me. Everything was just felt broken and wrong and so I knew I was getting frustrated, and so I was trying to figure out, I picked out this word, this phrase that said, hope is never lost, and I don't normally use phrases that have my name in it, because it just feels like a pun to me, it feels like I'm trying to be serious and pull myself into things, and I don't want to be that person, so I don't usually use it, but because I was so frustrated with this page, I felt like, okay, and everything that's going on in the world, I was like, let me, let me pick this. This may be exactly what I need. So I cut it down and put it there over on the right. And um, just took my pencil and started to go around it. And here, um, some of that went over some of the, the sticker went over the design tape, which the stick wouldn't stick to that surface, just like the gesso wouldn't. So... Um, I end up having to glue most of it down, which is fine. It's not a big deal. There's a lot of stickers don't stick to anything, no matter what the surface is. So I go ahead and take my Uhu glue stick and stick that back down. But like I said, y'all, I was frustrated and just, uh, I felt like things were broken. And then I realized, y'all yeah, see, I'm showing you there the water spots that I got from that watered down gesso. And I loved it. Um, that one in the, the crease that's in the middle, apparently I, I didn't rub. So I decided to go over all the rest of that gesso and all the rest of that design tape with the gesso and get those spots. And I was really happy with that. Here I'm going to play with the um, Woody Stabilo a little bit <laughs> because I love the way that um, that's my magic making when things um, smear like that. So I play with that a little bit and um, 
add more of that watered down gesso in a couple spots and just try to to make it work i'm still trying to salvage this page thinking okay it's going to come together i've got my focal down there it's that those words it's going to be fabulous and like i said this is for my 100 day project so i thought oh my gosh so i left it i was like okay that's it i'm done with this page well once i post oh wait no i didn't i added some um i was trying to make the hope um, is never lost the phrase stand out because it just kind of it didn't seem to to be the focal so I took some of these like pointer hand stickers not stickers some of the design tape with this pointer hand on it and tried to get it to point at the phrase thinking okay that'll help it didn't it it, it just it doesn't um and here's where I'm, you know, I'm really struggling, getting frustrated, not trying what the problem is. And y'all, when I go and take a picture of this and post it on Instagram for my 100 day project, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And I sat there and I looked at it and I realized what it needed was a bigger focal. So I'm going to come back here in a little bit and I'll tell you what happens. But um, y'all see, I'm trying to work with this and trying to work with it. Um, I put some of the gesso around that design tape there. I add a couple more stamps. Um, I struggle. It was, and that's not what our journaling should be. It should be uh, freedom and loose and uh, your happy place. And I wasn't feeling happy. I, um, I, and that's why I knew I had to stop. I had to leave it. Um, my 100 day project was about using the supplies. I had used the supplies. I, um, I, yeah, I decided that had to be it. See, here's me just adding a little bit more of everything, trying to, trying to get it to work. And, um, yeah, your art journal should really be about letting your feelings get expressed and, being in your happy place and you know and sometimes it's about getting out some of the frustration and all of that but when it starts to frustrate you it's not working you either need to find another page another outlet um, walk away from it and um, don't let it be the thing that frustrates you because if if you use it as your release and your release is frustrating you then it's not working anymore so all right I've said my piece um, here's when I walk away and this morning I woke up and was like I know what I have to do I need a bigger focal so I tried um, I tried some of the family photos because they're nice and big or lost relatives sorry the Tim Holtz lost relatives but they seemed too big so I grabbed these photo booth ones and picked out a couple. I liked that the stack of the boy and girl on this one were um, facing kind of the same direction. So it felt like they belonged. The one above them didn't quite belong, but these two were facing the same direction and felt like they kind of belonged together. So I used that tool. Y'all, I don't know what that tool is called. It's another, it's a Tim Holtz tonic tool. And I'm just going around the outside of it to rough up the edges. Um, I tore one of the corners. Um, I made sure all of the corners are a little like roughed up. Like I bent them and, and did all of that. And then I grabbed a sanding block and roughed up the surface of the pictures to give them even more age feeling to them. Um, the whole page feels kind of aged and worn and all of that. So I wanted that to feel um, the same. Now I grabbed the uh, Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. I was trying to find a cosmetic sponge to go around the outside of it, but I couldn't find it this morning. So I was like, I just, I want to do this. I want to fix this page. Um, hope is never lost and I want to make that come through. So I just used my fingers and the pad and went around the edges and rubbed that in. And when I got it on there, I decided that um, since I had that rusty hinge on there, as well and not really in for walnut stain I wanted to add in some of the rusty hinge to that to that photo booth strip as well so that's what I'm doing I'm doing the same thing just kind of going around the outside of it um, and rubbing that color on and then just using my finger to rub it in I was ready to stick it down at this point so I grabbed since it, those photo booth strips are kind of heavy I decided to use some matte gel medium and um, I'm gonna stick that down with um, with that, I'm grabbing a paintbrush and um, I take a, 
it, a little container that to kind of hold it down to weight it down because it was trying to pop up and I need to make a rice bag like Lori Marie Jenkins has um that's what she uses to weight things down but um I need to make something like that to, to hold things down but that's for another day for now I um I'm just using this let's get some of my little tiny jelly plates in it the, um the little shape ones so um it worked well enough for now and I grabbed that Woody Stabilo again, that same black one that I had used on the page because, again, I'm trying to be consistent adding this in. And I've started to go just go around it with my pencil, but I realized that, that um, I had used it in this manner where I just pulled the color from the, the pencil itself with my wet paintbrush on the words. So that's what I decided I was going to do. And I wasn't, I was trying not to touch the edges of the photos where I had put the distress oxides because I don't want to pull that color from it. So I'm just trying to get kind of almost under the the photo booth there to add that little bit of, of darkening there. And y'all, can y'all see it already? This page is fixed. I, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, then I guess I was going to see if I could put the Stabilo Woody on that design tape and y'all, it totally went on the design tape. It, um, I, when it dried, it's not as, um, it's got a little bit of the water spots to it, but it's, it, it wrote on it because it's Stabilo and they write on everything. So yeah, this, it's perfectly fixed and it was an easy fix and y'all hope is never lost. Keep working at it. Don't let yourself get frustrated. And, um, I hope y'all are finding your happy place during this crazy time. Here's some pictures. If you want to see for more from me, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.